Hello, my name is Elizabeth Ross and welcome to the Smarts Online vlog number one. If you're new here on the Smarts Online YouTube channel, Smarts Online is an executive function curriculum that's designed to help all students, but especially students with learning differences such as ADHD and dyslexia, conquer their executive function challenges. So this is the first in a series of new vlog format videos. We're going to use this format to talk more directly with teachers, with students, and with parents who want to learn more about executive function. So today we're going to talk about dyslexia, ADHD, procrastination, and perfectionism. So on the surface it seems like procrastination and perfectionism don't really have a lot in common. However, the two can be really intimately related for students that have ADHD and dyslexia. It's really important when you're trying to help a student who has issues with procrastination to figure out why they're procrastinating. What is the root of their problem? Not all students procrastinate for the same reasons, so not all strategies are going to help every student. So for students with ADHD and dyslexia, they most likely have struggled with making lots of mistakes in their academic lives. They often have to compensate for this by putting in a ton of extra effort into their work. In moderation, this is a great impulse and frankly necessary. But for students with learning differences, this self-imposed pressure to make as few mistakes as possible can actually be paralyzing. Starting an assignment can feel like looking up at the top of a high mountain you have to climb because you know how difficult it's going to be to get to the top. It can be just exhausting. This fear can cause them to put off starting assignments because they honestly want to do their best, but they know it's going to be difficult. According to Dr. Ellen Hendrickson, who is a clinical psychologist at Boston University's Center for Anxiety and Related Disorders, procrastination doesn't look like perfectionism on the surface. Instead, it often looks like laziness or distractibility. But if you're worried there's no way you can meet your own standards, or that you'll make the wrong decision and regret it later, it's understandable that you put off writing that term paper. If students are afraid of making a mistake, they'll often avoid doing a task. And I mean, it makes sense. You can't make a mistake on something you haven't started. Now, I don't know about you, but this is something I have definitely done. So like I said before, the first thing that you should do when dealing with a student who has issues with procrastination is try to figure out why. Now you can do this by asking them what type of assignments they often procrastinate on. That way you can start trying to assess, is this a question of the student not knowing the material? Or is this a question of the student procrastinating because they're afraid of making mistakes? Or is the student procrastinating because they know the amount of effort they're going to have to put into the assignment? If you're dealing with a student who knows the material but is afraid of making mistakes and you start trying to tutor them on the material, you're not going to get very far. Now, what are some strategies that you can use with students who have procrastination that is affected by perfectionism. Okay, so first things first, the Smarts Online curriculum has a great module on time management. If you can help a student break a task down into lots of little pieces, they can look a lot less intimidating. You can check out our introductory video on time management by clicking the link in the description. One of my favorite Smarts strategies is from Unit 4A Lesson 2, understanding time. This lesson helps students develop a more objective understanding of the passage of time and a greater appreciation of how time management skills can help them work more effectively and reduce stress. Now a strategy that I like to use with students is what I call the first one for nothing. A lot of students have this idea that you have to work on an assignment from beginning to end and every piece of it has to be perfect going all the way through. But for all students, actually, but specifically for students with LD issues, it's really important to instill in students the practice of doing multiple drafts. That way, the first time they go through something, I say, make as many mistakes as you want. You're just trying to get something down on the paper. Another thing that you can do is that you can encourage students to reach out to people in their lives to go over their work before they hand it in. Now, if you're a personal tutor or if you're through a learning center, this could be you. But it could also be a parent, it could also be a sibling or another student. This can be a great way to relieve stress on the student because this way they know that there's somebody to catch the mistakes that they just can't see. Now I myself am dyslexic and I know that one of the most frustrating things when I was in school was 
my inability to see mistakes. And I got a ton of anxiety from this because I could look over papers again and again and again and not see any mistakes. And then when I hand it in, the teacher would say, oh, this, this, and this are wrong right in the first paragraph. So it really helped me to have somebody I trusted look over my work before I handed it in. That way they could catch some of those pernicious mistakes that I just couldn't see. Now you'll notice I said somebody I can trust. It can be very hard for a student who knows that they make mistakes to give their work to somebody else knowing that they're going to find errors. But I like to stress when I'm talking to students that this person isn't judging them. They are there to be their coach. They're there to be their failsafe to help them. Have you noticed the link between procrastination and perfectionism in your students? Do you have trouble with procrastination yourself? What are some of the strategies that you use to help students with procrastination? What other topics would you like us to cover in our series on executive function? If you have any great strategies that you use to help with procrastination, please let us know in the comments. If you liked this video, do please give it a big thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any more great executive function lessons, please subscribe. So join us back here next time to keep learning strategically. Do you have trouble procrastinating? Do you have trouble?